Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas everyone! And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 here on Colorful Artie's channel. We're in Christmas Town right now, specifically Santa's house. And apparently there's a problem in Santa's workshop. We gotta figure that out. Because we're the only people who can do anything. We have to hide. Silence. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. That fool Jack brought Sora and the others with him. Now we can deal with all of them at once. What do you want us to do? Who's there? Busted! Vandals! Oh! <laughs> Jack's like, whoa, that's cool. It's Lock, Chalk, and Barrel. Not those three. I assure you they're not with us. Well, whatever the case, they've been quite naughty. Catch them and bring them back here. They're going to get a lecture. Oh, you don't want to get a lecture from Santa Claus. Uh, Mr. Claus, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas first. It'll have to wait. I need to see how things are progressing in my workshop. Jack's sad face fills me with sad. <laughs> the big sad. Come on, sad. Jack. Let's catch those little pranksters. Oh. All right then. Hey now, we want we gotta loot Santa's workshop first because he's got treasure. No, we gotta loot Santa's workshop. That's definitely footprints from their bathtub. But why are there only some footprints in one direction? These footprints could lead to the free kids. No, we gotta loot Santa's workshop. <laughs> hey, Santa. Oh, come on! I wanna loot Santa's workshop. Fine. Here we go. Hey, Genie. Oh, he's in power form. And he has no keyblade. <laughs> yeah, Drive or Sonic. Oh, we leveled up the Summon Gauge. Let's go to Wisdom Genie now. Strike. So he basically does the Wisdom form, like, shoot a bunch of orbs. It's got good range, but it's not as powerful as Valor or Genie. Thanks, Genie. <laughs> and we refill our Drive Gauge. Awesome. Oh! Now, okay, because people were walking around here, we can level up our drive or our summons here. So we'll just go to status, summon. We need 20 more experience points. All right. So first up, I'm going to turn these summon spec to none. So that way we don't have to watch the long cutscene every time. This is where Chicken Little is helpful. Nice. So we do Chicken Little, and now we can go into first. No, we can't go into first person shooter mode. Oh, well, that sucks. We killed the enemies. Oh, well. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Christmas will have to save itself. If we leave and come back, <laughs> the enemies should also respawn. Let's go. Okay, once the enemies appear in first person shooter mode, we can shoot like uh, baseballs at them in first person shooter mode. We also can just walk back to Yuletide Hill. First person shooter road gives us a lot of ex some experience, and we uh, get our drive gauge fully restored again. <laughs> first person shooter road. Oh, later, guys! <laughs> and then we just have to do this a few times, and we will level up our <laughs> summons. First person shooter mode, Chico Little's first person shooter mode is the best one for this because you can move around freely while using the limit. And that'll allow us to just walk right back to where we were. Cool, we leveled up our summon again. <laughs> now, there, it might give us a cutoff of how many times we can level up summon. Yeah, so right now our summon is at max level for the time being. Every time you unlock a new drive form, you can level up your drive forms and your summons up one extra level. So right now, our summon is at level 6, or no, it's at level 4. We can give it three more level ups to make it to level 7. However, there are three drive forms that we don't have yet. So, our summon's at max level. 
We can level up Wisdom Form one more time, and we can level up Valor Form one more time. Alright, anyhow. Thanks, Chicken Little. Oh, hi. Wait. There we go. forward to destroying that ridiculous Christmas town. Maleficent wants to destroy Christmas? What a cringe! Now that Sora and those imbeciles are here, I think a change of plan is called for. Revenge before pleasure, after all. What kind of revenge? She's even green. The magnificent malevolent kind, of course. That sounds really bad! Like, Oogie's kind of bad! And that's super duper bad! Oogie Boogie, that bag of incensed insects. Hmm, how intriguing. And where might I find him? Jack and his dumb, stupid friends destroyed him. Ah, yes. Now I remember. More intriguing still. I believe I'll bring your master back for you. <laughs> Don't ask how. <laughs> Maleficent can do whatever she wants. Because apparently Maleficent can't die. It's like, oh no, we remembered how Maleficent was evil. So now she's bad. Now Maleficent's like, oh yes, I can bring Uki Uki back to life anytime I want. Of course. Here's a question. Can I race back to Christmas Town really, really fast? <laughs> no, I can't. That's good to be. Can I race back to Christmas Town so I can use Valor for the upcoming boss fight? No, that's not allowed. Cool, but I killed that guy before. Man, there are a lot of Heartless up here. This is a pretty nice world to level of wisdom for, man, because there's a lot of, like, tiny Heartless that are pretty easy to destroy. This boss fight can be tough, though. Oogie Boogie's just here now. Don't ask how or why. I feel like a million bugs. <laughs> I really owe you one for this, Maleficent. Indeed you do, Oogie. Do you remember Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Do I remember them? Ha! Ah, you're too much. I'll never forget what they did to me. Uh, what was it they did to me? Squashed you like a bug! That sounds bad. And Jack helped. Even worse. They creamed you. That's right. That's right. That's one thing I won't be forgetting anytime soon. It's the last thing I remember. And it's the only thing I'll remember until I teach those clowns not to mess with Mr. Oogie Boogie. Yes, that's right. That's the spirit. And I have the perfect plan already in mind. Have you ever heard of Christmas Town? I hate Christmas. <laughs> Mr. Oogie, wake up, wake up! We want to see how bad you are. <sighs> he fell asleep. <sighs> She's like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this. He needs more time to recover. You three, stay here and keep Sora and the others occupied. What does like Maleficent get? Like, I really don't understand what Maleficent gets out of this. There they are. Boss fight. Stop them! Tie them down! Get them! Here we get to fight the Prison Keeper. And it has three different phases. They'll eat the kids one at a time. Alright, so a shock first. And then it'll get different attacks depending on which kid it's most recently. Prepare to scream! 
This is where Dance Call really helps. Yeah, for ja for Dance Call, okay. It hit a certain HP gate, so we couldn't do any damage to it until it had finished eating one of the kids. Uh, Dance Call is one of those limits that, like, if you don't press X or Triangle, you'll just rapidly rack up damage and just keep an eye on the limit gauge and make sure that you use the finale before the gauge runs out. All right. It ain't Barrel Man. I believe in barrel space, it'll like fly up and drop stuff on you from above. Maybe? Nope, wow, it's already eating the shot. Actually, no, it did not eat shot. Okay, yeah, it's shooting magic spells at us now. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, didn't want to use wisdom form. I wanted to use Valor form, but I guess I could Or maybe no, it did eat shock. I just didn't hear him say shock. Thunder. All right, this should finish it off. Goodbye. <laughs> Ooh, and Sora gets the flash step ability. That's a nice one. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> I love how Jack's limit is literally him dancing with Sora, because he wanted to dance with the Heartless in the first game, and now he gets the chance to, and it's a really powerful attack. <laughs> That was fun! Let's go see if Mr. Oogie's ready! They learned nothing. Oogie? <laughs> Isn't he the one who tried to take over Halloween Town before? That's him. Fellows, I hope you're ready for trouble. Don't we have enough trouble already? Santa's just going on. What? And now I've lost my way. Oh, this is utter foolishness. I should be getting ready for Christmas. Is that you, <clears throat> Mr. Santa Claus? Yes, but please call me Santa Claus. Of course, Mr. Santa Claus. I was hoping I'd find you here. You see, it's very important that you go back to Christmas Town. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen if you don't. Well, I am behind on my preparations. All right, tell Jack I'll be waiting for him at home. He had something to say to me about Christmas. But that's just it. Please, go home and lock the door. And if Jack knocks, don't open it. Jack wants to take over Halloween like he did in the movie. The large one in red. All I gotta do is kidnap him? That's right. Lock him up at once. Then begin destroying Christmas Town. I hate That's Christmas so much. <laughs> Maleficent, aren't you supposed to be like, you know, trying to get like a heartless army and like take over the world? No, I want to destroy Christmas. That's really just it. <laughs> sure, Timmy, Sora and the other fools come running. And then they're all mine! Yes. And in the meantime, I'll turn Santa Claus into Santa Heartless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the you Are we done? You're Who's really right? a step down in terms of, like, intimidation from the first game. Like, <laughs> big time. <laughs> What was with that dopey walk? <laughs> and now we get the happy music. Oh no, this is just the Halloween Town music. What's wrong, Sally? Jack, Oogie's kidnapped Santa Claus. Oh no! And he's headed for Christmas Town. 
Come on, Jack, let's hurry. Where'd Oogie come from? He tried to control the Heartless last time. What's he up to now? Oogie's the one who wreaked havoc with the Heartless last time, right? If he's kidnapped Santa, how am I supposed to get any presents for Christmas? Also, it's really stupid that he's back for it with literally no explanation. <laughs> really dumb. Oogie comes back and the first thing he does is try to spoil my Christmas. I guess he didn't learn his lesson last time. Ogie kidnapped Santa Claus. He went through the door in the hinterlands. You have to stop him. All right, off to the hinterlands, I guess. Oh, hey, enemies. Oh, I tried to flash them. But I get more magic and AP. Cool. Sora gets flash step. Unleashes a guard piercing attack on a slightly distant target to, while keeping up your own guard. That's a pretty good one. We're gonna equip that. Um, you know what, I'll equip Dodge Slash just so you guys can see what is up with it. Because I haven't actually showed it off yet. And... Nah, Aerial Sweep is... Aerial Sweep's not as good as uh, Aerial Dive. And we've seen Aerial Sweep. Oh, we didn't. Hey, bro. Oh, Sora doesn't want it. Sora does not want to use Dodge Slash. <laughs> Probably because those guys keep jumping in the air. <laughs> I will ruin Christmas. <laughs> They're really becoming like the mustached cartoon villain. I'm like, <laughs> Christmas is will be mine. <laughs> Done a little redecorating. That's the first thing he actually wanted to do. He's like, kidnap Santa Claus? Sure. The first thing we want to do is paint over his factory so it looks more like my house. <laughs> Wait. Something's not quite right. I know what it is. We just need a little more of that oogie flair. I do hope our jolly old friend is looking forward to becoming a heartless. <laughs> He's like, why do you hate Christmas so much, Melissa? Oh, clumsy oaf. Are you still here? Why don't you oogie on back where you came from? You're crabbing my style. Have you already forgotten who brought you back, you insolent bag of bugs? Mm, sorry, can't remember a thing. Very well, you ingrate. You'll rue the day you spurned my help. <laughs> Oogie Boogie's just like, Maleficent, <laughs> you used to be cool, but now you're just an old Grinch. <laughs> Get out of here and let Oogie Boogie take over. <laughs> <laughs> How did he not burn up from that? He's like, a little fire, no problem. And then he sets off the smoke alarms. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's Santa's house. So Flash Step is like a... is very similar to uh, Sliding Dash. It's just like shorter range and more powerful and gives you invincibility frames. Hey dude, I got more synthesis materials for you. Can't make anything with free development. Okay, uh, Garnet Rain... Yeah, we've already made both of those. Okay. We'll make the high drive recovery, use a serenity shard, and we'll use a bright shard. Darn it, we can't. Fine, we'll use the... No, that's kind of a waste to use the energy shard here. I'll just wait till I have more stuff. Oh, one thing that I want to do... Donald, you're out. <laughs> Goofy's where is that? <laughs> Okay, these are emerald blues. They're like they're like the silver rocks, except they shoot wind at you instead. Come on, I want to show off dodge slash. Oh, these are toy soldiers. They're different from the jack of the box we saw earlier. Ouch! 
Get emerald blue. Man, okay, Sora just does not want to use Dodge Slash, apparently. He swings the Keyblade, like, diagonally several times. Oh, it's fine. We're unequipping Dodge Slash, dude, it sucks. Donald has a new ability, Hyper Healing. Yes, please. Greatly, our uh, quickly revives the Fallen Party member, greatly restores our HP. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Thanks, Donald. Anyhow, gotta go to Santa's house. Fill everything, and we're off to the boss of Halloween Town, Oogie Boogie. It was one of the more annoying fights in the game, probably. Just because it's... There's not really any way to, like, beat him quickly, because he's also very HP gate-based. Like, as soon as his HP reaches a certain amount, you just can't hit him until he does several attacks. I'm back! Jack Skellington! A hoogie! <laughs> you and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little side chicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. And why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! Are we not, like, doing anything to stop him? We're just sitting there? <laughs> Mr. Santa Claus! Oogie, Oogie, you're really stupid if you couldn't stop that from happening. <laughs> and now Sora finally decides to be, hey, maybe we should attack him. How did all of this happen? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Okay, so now we fight Oogie Boogie, and use the presence to drop Oogie Boogie off the lift. So he'll make all of these uh, boxes appear, we use the four reaction command on it, and that'll slowly damage the thing Oogie Boogie's on. This is where it really helps that quick run from Wisdom Drawer, because we're on a conveyor belt that's constantly moving backwards. When he says, I'll squash you flat, he's gonna pull out this boxing glove. You can quick run past it really easily. I believe it takes nine presents to destroy his lift. Yep. Now we can just wail away on him until he reaches his HP gate, and then at which point we can't damage him anymore. Yep, like that. He's gonna walk in there. And he'll try to push us into the spikes back there. We can just jump out of the way. And just keep up the onslaught. You'll know what attack is. <laughs> I hope you like the boogie gifts I picked up. So then he'll summon boogie gifts here. Boogie gifts will spawn heartless if you don't destroy them quickly enough. Okay, so now he's moving over there. We need to wait till the blue. There's a blue uh, square in the middle and a blue square on the side he's on. So we're right there. We don't want to move to the other side by mistake. This is just basically like an automatic battle. Not the blue gifts again. Power form, we can level it up a little bit more. Alright, so now where do we have to go? 
roll, baby. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the middle. That's where he is. Okay, now he, when he says that, he's gonna make all these lightnings appear. Definitely dodge the lightnings because they are very powerful. Well, I guess that wasn't as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Rats went to the wrong side. There we go. Now we can warp over here. I will. Okay, well maybe I can open. Ouch. No, ow. Thankfully we don't really need magic in this fight. Yeah, <laughs> keep saying that, Oogie. Come on, he's got to be almost. There we go. All right, now we can finish him off. Take that. Get a new item slot. Goofy learned once more. That's nice. Hi, Goofy. That's how Sora saved Christmas. <sighs> All right, Christmas is safe again. Can I get on the nice list again, Santa? <laughs> Perfect. I'd better get down to business. Ah. <laughs> Yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Dad. Here, it's done. Wonderful! Why, I love it. Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? <laughs> Jack, you are well, very difficult to make clothes for. Claus. You have the weirdest size. Listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. Hey! <laughs> don't even think about taking over from me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? Simple G, I've never thought of it like that. We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. <laughs> oh, Jack's sad faces. Nightmares. <laughs> Makes me sad on a deep level. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Very Don't true. You see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. 
So true. <laughs> the mayor's funny. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the weirdest Jack, one. This is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit <laughs> too festive for our Halloween needs. <laughs> Jack's Santa Claus outfit reveals the next keyhole, which is very strange. <laughs> Like, it would have made more sense for Santa's list to do it. <laughs> but instead, Jack's like, I, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Sally, what magic did you put in this outfit? I don't know, Jack. <laughs> this is all new to me as well. <laughs> well, it works for Sora. We better get going. Before you do, Sora... I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus? Yeah, he ruined my yeah. life. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? <laughs> Riku told Santa that Riku told Santa that Sora doesn't exist. Riku told Sora Santa doesn't exist. It's like I found Riku. It's like, Riku, I'm so glad to see you again. Oh, by the way, Santa gives his best wishes to Sora. Really? It's like, no, I actually met Santa. It's like, no, you didn't, Sora. <laughs> no, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him, uh, just as you found me. Um. Right. That's not how that works. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> and now we get the thing that I came here to get. We get the Magnet Element, which is the last of the magic spells to get in the game. It emits a power that draws in the enemy. Used from the Magic Command costs 30 MP. It is the... Other than Cure, it's the most expensive magic spell in the game. But it's really, really good. And this is the reason you don't want Magic Lock-On. Basically, when you use this, you'll make, like, a diamond above your head, and the diamond will pull in, like, any enemy on screen, basically, into it. And it'll, like, basically incapacitate them while they're pulled into it, and you can just wail away on them. It's really, really good against the mob enemies, and honestly, there's a lot of bosses in the game. Even some of, like, the bonus bosses will get pulled in by it. So, it's very, very good. And if you have Magic Lock-On equipped, uh, when you use this, instead of appearing above your head, the diamond, ma the magnet diamond will appear above an enemy's head. And it'll pull them towards the enemy rather than pull them towards you, which is not very desirable. And Magnet's really going to help you for when you go back to Twilight Town. I'm just going to say that. So we could go back to Twilight Town next time, or we could go to the Lion King world. I do believe I'll be going back to Twilight Town because I kind of want that new keyway that we'll get for Twilight Town. But you'll have to look forward to that next time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you then. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.